What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome back to Life is Strange. Episode 2 has been released and we are ready to dive back into the adventures of Max, Chloe, and all things crazy. When we left off with episode 1, Chrysalis, Chrysalis, Chrissy, and Liss, there was a giant storm approaching a seaside town and we had no idea what caused it. Our powers have revealed to be very, very useful. We can rewind time, we can change our decisions, and we also have a lot of weird things happening around us. Thank you guys for all your support on that first episode. I know everybody, including me, has been super eager for this new one to come out, and it's finally ready. So hit that like button if you are excited and want to see more. I would really awesomely like to see this first part do great. So thank you for all your support. I always appreciate it. And now it's time to dive into Out of Time right about now. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... That got away from me, psycho! No! Whoa, what the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Ooh, press A to snooze. Greatest quick time ban of 2015. Shut up, alarm! Right. This game has been really good with its uh, musical introductions. Even though I thought we shut the alarm off. I like the recap too, like TV series style. Very nicely done. I'm so eager to see if they're able to like follow through with the promise that episode one gave us. She's almost as messy as I am, good God. Out of time. <laughs> Look at her shirt. Three freaky chickens. That's probably where she draws her power from. Those chickens. Get up. Let's go, Maxwell. Maxine. Maximilius. Maximania. Alright, a new outfit, a new day, a new episode. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. The Winger and the Cow. My favorite book. Alright, is this all the same stuff, I wonder? Oh, we can water the plant. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Max has an ego this episode, it seems. <laughs> this action will have consequences. Watering the plant? Oh, Lisa. I've left you on the brink of drought. She named her plant. That's... Bit freaky. Let's go on our laptop before we shower. He's blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Hey Max, the doctor's in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links, and without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. Oh my god, Warren is a goofball. I hope we get more of this him. This is though. so insane, it sounds logical to me. Join the chrononauts? Time travel is not just a science fiction. Oh, so she's looking up all this stuff to like try to learn more about what happened to her. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Yeah, true. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? I sign petition. 
Why are quantum physicists trying to control time? As you read these words, physicists and scientists around the world are using taxpayer-funded government programs to shatter our notions of time and space. And Those evil scientists. Dana is not messing around here. Bring it black while blood suckers. Next to prom night and big football, my favorite time of the year is the annual Ghoul Days Black Halloween Party. All right, so that must be coming up next Wednesday. Ooh, I wonder if in this episode or next episode we get a Halloween uh, party. That would be pretty cool. All right, what are the sticky notes? I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. She's really into this, like trying to figure it out like a crazy person. She should just call Stephen Hawking up. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at this big. That was a good hockey game. I think. <laughs> Kristen and Fernando were so I think so that's, that's the same like comment she made before. Control. So some of this stuff, like some of her room isn't a little bit different, but some of it is the same as last episode. Can I stop the music? We can stop the music. Breaking the fourth wall. Let's make our bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Well, it looks good. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. All right. Okay, let's let's shower. Had enough of this jazz. More DVDs. More guitars. More shower supplies. Thank you. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. All right. Cool. Um, can I change my clothes first? Good morning, clothes. I <laughs> hope you slept well. Good morning, clothes. Now shall clothes. I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? <laughs> she is quite bitter. Uh -oh. people oh i wonder if i'll ever wear a watch again dude you should wear this watch freaking frogs and chickens max has the greatest style i've ever seen she belongs in like a kiro karapi store all right Courtney, seriously do not forget i need those papers before tonight like now thanks sherry yeah of course victoria i'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon i am so on it consider it done Hey, I was just about ready to start my, my, my jam. What's up, Victoria? Okay, she's too busy dancing. Fine, I won't disturb you. New people around here. The board's probably the same, I'm guessing. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Meat is still murder. Veggie potluck. Kate's room. Will bang for Jesus? Um, let's erase that. Rude. Gotcha, Kate. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Everybody is gone. I need the showers. Who's this girl? You're new. Oh, no, it's the purple hair girl that almost got hit with the football. Hello, boys. Ooh, dance party. Early morning dance party. Dana, what's going on? Aww. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Mm. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Yes, we must. Why the fuck not? Mm. If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Maybe Max should dress up as one of the weird chicks on her shirt. I like I like Skater Boy Little Wayne that Dana has plastered on her wall. Ah, oh, there's pills. Hmm. Hum. The makeup. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Yes, we could use some of that. Uh, we're gonna hit the showers because otherwise we're gonna be way too dirty Life for any so party. It's so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Those masks kind of remind me of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, they're a little bit scary. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Oof, hope they don't get busted. Mm -hmm. No boys allowed. Juliet, what's up? 
Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? What? What? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Good. Putting people in their place thanks to our powers. Uh, what's your choice? What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. Mm. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Good. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Making progress. Now let's rewind time and ask her again. Whoop. Okay. Juliet! Hello, Juliet. Hey, Matt. Alright. No, 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 no. That's not cool. That's... No, 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 no. I didn't get wasted on... No, 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 no. Kate's not... <laughs> really? Do you believe... Touche. Alright, so now can we ask her about Victoria? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. No. Glad to see you're back in action. Okay, so it's the you same You have result. a good heart, Max. All right. Thanks. I'm glad you're not That's passing. That's the spirit. You know? Sure. Right. Let's get a dank shower, Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Brooke is new. Brooke is new, right? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No. I will later, though. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Everybody's pretty snarky around here. Taylor's room. But where are the showers? In the trash can. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. Are there showers in this area? I think there, there's bathrooms to the right if I remember the layout of this dormitory. All right, showers. Kate. Well, we just saved her reputation, so hopefully she'll be nice to us. What's up, Kate? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Mm-hmm. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. She's so awkward. It almost makes me feel weird. Ugh. They haven't fixed the uh, the lip syncing. They said they it's just like not possible, and they didn't really focus their time or money there, which is fine. Doesn't really bother me. Shower time. Probably should take off that crazy three ring circus chicken shirt. But okay, I was gonna say they're not gonna show it, but then they are. <laughs> shower, shower, shower. Water, water, water. Everyone. She, she looks like she's kind of being covered in, like, glue, but a glue bath would be interesting. Did you ever, like, put glue on your fingers when you were in school and then peel it off? Imagine doing that all over your body. Probably really gross. What's up, Kate? Oh, no. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh, my God, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. God. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. Maybe you should work on showering, Victoria. It's not that hard. Way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. 
Wow. I thought she got nice at the end of the, the past episode, but nope. And and what kind of person can't wipe paste off, paint off their face on their own? <laughs> like She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Hey, I'm right here. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> oh, so funny. Never trust anyone that calls their friend an evil biatch or writes in lipstick on the mirror. About to go erase that. Too bad I couldn't rewind time and put freaking Victoria back in her mom's stomach. Ugh. At least we're showered and clean. We know how to get paint off our face. Unlike Victoria. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. All right. What do we got on the wall here? Otter powers? <laughs> I'm so not there. The Otter Swim Team Tryout, September 6th. Even though I think it's past that, because October 10th is next week, it said. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Ew. All right, then. What is this poster? It won't let us click on it. Faucet. Faucet. Poster. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Hey, I don't give flu shots, and I don't get the flu. Sometimes it works out like that. There's the message. Let's erase that. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Absolutely. We got Kate's back. I think eventually she might come in handy. I just get this sense that Max and Kate... Rachel, what? Can we erase this? Like, let's go grab that sponge and... Can I grab this, like, cleaning stuff? Toothpaste? Rub it off? I don't know. Let's wash our hands of all these gross Hello? high school... Water? Sorry. I forgot. Oh, uh, someone's in the shower. <laughs> Whoops, who is it? Hello? Who's in there? Who's in there? All right, time to go back and get uh, Kate's book for her. Caitlin, Caitlin, I'm sorry. You have it rough. Um, Max, can we change that, please? I really don't like giant head man with, like, two arms and no body. It's kind of creeping me out. Where is this Bradbury book? <gasps> what? No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? Holy crap. After I find Kate's book. Is this Victoria, like, revenging because she doesn't know how to wipe paint off her face? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. <gasps> Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Never mind, it's not. Victoria, it's Nathan. How does he know it was us? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Max's head on a platter with a goat for lunch? Wow, this guy is freak. If this was me, honestly, I would legit just drop out of school and leave. Wouldn't you? Like, would you risk someone writing nobody messes with me in red on your wall, putting, like, collages of your face on a platter? I would be... So out of there, so quickly. That guy is, like, why is it, like, if, if she didn't have evidence before, this is evidence to take the principal and be like, someone is seriously messing with me, and it's Nathan. Man, this could okay, we almost can just keep be looking art at it. if it wasn't um, where so is the book? fucking sick. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. All right. I love how there's the duality of the, like, in-school things going on, and then the out-of-school mystery. So, like, there's the Chloe tornado mind powers thing, and then there's the in-school mystery of, like, the missing girl, Rachel, um, Nathan, and his drugs, and, like, all that stuff that's going on. It's pretty cool how they just kind of... Multiple here. layers of different, like, conflicts existing. Books? Books? I found it. Oh! Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Oh, God. Better fix this fast. Kate needs the Let's book use the fan. I don't want to add to her list of problems. What are we going to do? Type it out? Print it out? Use my clothes? I got to fix it fast. Um. Oh, I can just rewind. Durr. I forgot we were a super heroine. All right. Okay. Now let's get it. Let's move the glass. Be gone, foul soft drink. And now search for the book. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. I gotcha. All right, cool. Now we can get dressed, get on with our day, play a little song. 
Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Is it gonna hey, be Max's? Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. Is this a different and he outfit? Even rewind time. From the main, the first game? Yeah, a deer. That's a definitely a different shirt. A doe, a deer. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. All right, guitar. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. As a permanent procrastinator and late person, this power would do me so good. Play. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Let's take the book back to Kate. This game can be so like serene and, and peaceful if you just like look at everything and play guitar and do that, but who's got time for that? I mean, I do, but I also kind of want to find out what is going on. Uh-oh. Three, keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. How does he have our number? How does he know it's me? He's freaking me out. Warren says, hit me up anytime if you have any other questions. I'll be in the TARDIS. Oh, Dr. Who, who jokes. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? Wrong. Thanks for helping me out. Have a very special birthday. And Chloe, you are evil. 40 minutes or else. That's from before. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Yeah, like, no time has passed. Who is this? Juliet? Stuff? Juliet? Hello? Excuse me. I'm texting Zach. Okay, well, I just wanted these rollerblades so I could leave and get far away from you. Rollerblades? Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. All right. Well, out we go. This is not Kate. Kate's room was down more, right? Didn't we wipe the stuff off of it? Isn't it this one? Yeah. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. I feel so sad for her. Aww. Breaking my heart. Can we play the violin? Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Too depressed because of jerks. It's so sad. I just want to see if there's any like clues we can get from her room before we talk to her and she kicks us out or something. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Aww. Take a picture of the rabbit. What's up, rabbit? It's a big black eye. Kind of creepy. Don't turn into binocular on me, please. Ooh, what's this letter? Ouch. She left out amnation. What? Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. Oh my god, her... The... the didn't the videotape, like, just go live and her aunt already sent her, like, a nice, like, letter on some church stationary i pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire holy cow poor kate it wasn't even her good lord this must be kate's hr geiger period wow that's some feel she's drawn bloodborne i'll have to send her a copy <laughs> what's the postcard oh we already saw the wait no we saw the photo but not the postcard kate really has a doting father Aw, Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love. I have chills just reading that. Everyone that's nice deserves a hug. Right? Kate's art is perfect for mm. a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Yeah, until she did her skulls and doom artwork. But yeah, if you can be nice to people, man, like, use this game as an example of how freaking down and depressed just a few choice bad words make someone feel. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Like, take the time to not say something rude so the person you're talking to doesn't go and cover up their mirror and I think it's just not cool. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Yeah, please. Yeah. There's a Bible now. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. Hmm. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. I like how Kate just lets us snoop around her room like, eh. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. <laughs> Kate's hair is bigger than her face, which is maybe a problem. Can we pull the blinds? It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. 
Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Ice cream. I'm gonna take a lick. Oh. All right, let's talk to Kate. We've we've explored enough. Um, uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Hmm. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Mm -hmm. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Mm. Yeah, right. What should I ask her here first? Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. Oh, she and did I do it. I have no memory of it. It was her. And they drugged her, got her drunk or something. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Okay, so she, she was drugged for sure. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did yeah, somebody gotcha. drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan, it is... Oh, God. We... Somebody has to just, like, take constant video of him and prove that he's a complete loser. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. No. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. What the heck? And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. Whoa. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Wow. Needles in the neck, kidnappings, soft voices, viral videos, all sorts of insanity. Nathan Prescott is a demon. Mm -hmm. That is for freaking sure. Put her book in her bag. Maybe Warren can help us. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Okay. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Hmm. Should I go to the police? Oh, God. The big choice. Oh no, what do we do? What do we do? Go to the police or look for proof. I mean, I know that Nathan is completely evil, but I'm trying to think in the logic of the game. In the, going to the police would be great, but in the logic of the game, the, the principal never believed us and nobody's believed us, so I think we need proof and then we can seal the deal and sign and deliver him straight to some juvie or, or somewhere, because that guy's a freaking creep. Proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. Yeah. 
The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Kate. Max. No, Kate. You're freaking breaking my heart. I didn't mean to break yours. Just trying to help get the best outcome eventually. Oh my god. Good job, Dr. Max. What? She didn't like what I had to say, but yeah. we need more proof of what happened. Sometimes people don't like what you have to say, but we're looking out for her best interest, like a mom forcing her child to go to bed before 8 p.m. so he's not cranky in the morning. Kate, you gotta trust us. You need more proof before you try to take Nathan Prescott down. We're gonna wrap up here. The story starts off with a lot of inter-school intrigue. All of this stuff with Chloe, Tornado, Rachel, I guess that's going to be tabled for later in episode two. Out of time. We are out of time today, but we'll be back soon. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and want to see more. Thanks so much for all your support. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys are pumped to find out what lies next for us here in Life is Strange episode two. Awesome, awesome, awesome opening. I just love the like the relationships in this game. I think that's what kind of seals the deal. It feels very true to life. Even if some of the things they say are goofy, it makes you feel like you're really embedded in this social circle of real people, which is pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for a great day. Watch out for Nathan Prescott. Drink some hot chocolate. And until next time, we'll see you all later.